Okay, so in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do basic editing of a particular video clip and from beginning to the end, the, ex the complete process on how to edit the video from scratch from beginning to the end. So let's say we we'll go back to the home, back to home, and we say continue without syncing. And we would like to create a, a simple video from scratch. So you click on create new video. And then we have to add a media so we click on this to navigate within our system to find that that video that we want to add and edit so let's say we select this workspace, uh, workspace reduction um, um workspace of google okay course introduction so you can see we've imported it and we can select on the plus sign to add it into the timeline just like we've explained and you can navigate around to see and let's have a preview google workspace is a collection of cloud computing productivity i think this is cool and nice but then we may need to have um, an intro from here so let's drag and add some text and uh, let's say we have something like this or something like this and just drag and drop here all right and then we we can make it up to this point okay up to this point and then we can go back and select this and say welcome to my channel okay so this is complete so you can just uh, go back and see welcome to my channel and this is a good intro good. and then we can go ahead and maybe you can play around with the different features if you want for example you can select the text you have the option to change the font style over here to change the transformation, you can reduce or increase the size. I think also here is okay. You can change the coloration also. The coloration, the accent color, the primary color is white. I think I like it as it is, so no need to change anything. You can change the filter effect if you want or anything as you so wish. But I think better I leave everything at default because I like it like that. So this is, and then we can look in. If you want to do any kind of splitting, you can create any split. Maybe at this point, you may want to split this and select and split press on letter s and you can see you've split it into two if you want to add a transition you can come to the in between the two clips okay the center of the two clips and just click and you see you've added a transition and to play around with the different features of the transition you can select it and come over here and increase the intensity or duration of the transition you can see you've increased it Okay, and you can see the default one, like we've explained earlier, is going to be is a cross fed. That is the default one. So this is how to bring in uh, transition, like we've explained. You can just close on this, and then you can add some graphics if you want. But then let me add some lower third. Assuming I want to, uh, I like this lower third. I can just drag it and put it here. So at least let me put my name here. Okay, so you can select and you can say Dr. Rashid. Dr. Rashid. And then we can say a quick mentorship. All right, so you can see we can just uh, put in this lower third. And if you have anything that you are trying to put, you can add in some transitions also if you have any. Um, so let's say we have some stock images from here. And let's say we import something. And I like to add the picture of, um, so let's say, uh, B-rolls. Uh, let's say images. And let's say this image of this uh, little girl. I can just uh, import it and just drag it and drop it here and specify the location i think i like it here to be at this position and you may add one video also if you want okay b rolls and then you can just go ahead select a video and you can see this one i think i like this better and you can import once it's finished importing, you can just drag and drop it to any location of your choice. Specify the location, specify the length. You can zoom to fit so you can see clearly what you are doing. So from this point, I may want this girl to appear. Google Maps, Google Slides, Google Translate, 
So assuming I, at this point, I may want to silence the audio. Okay, you can just click here with this uh, mic sign and you can see it's now silent. Okay, so it moves from the B-roll down to the video and continue. And then you may want to add some background music if you have any. If you've imported any, you can add. If you don't have any, you can come to music and sound effects. And you can see them over here. These are music and these are sound effects like I've explained. So if you want this one, you can just go ahead and click on the plus sign or you can just come down here and drag it and drop it down here. Drag it and drop it and you can see it is importing. But then I don't want it to fill everything. I think I want to copy to this point. You can see the importing progress and then the buffering and then it's done. Okay, so you can select this, you can come to the volume and you can reduce the size because right now when we play, it's going to be very loud. It's very loud, so you can come down here. So make sure you select the audio. You can come down here and reduce it to like 16 to 20. Google made Google Voice. I see it's still loud, so let's go back to as low as 10. Many, many more. So this course is for beginners who are interested in using Google Ads. I think this is good, but then it's a bit louder also. So let's take it to something like 6 is good. I think this is good. So go ahead and give it a try and see what and what you can play around with. You can come to uh, graphics also if you want to add any graphics. You can just select this and drag and drop here and just specify the position. All right, so you can decrease or decrease or increase the size and put it somewhere here, for example. This is just an example of how to put in uh, graphics. You can do many, very many things. You can select and create a cut or split the clip, like I've explained, or you can do trimming from the edges. You can trim from the edge just like so up to this point or you can extend also from here or you can go to the other edge and trim from the end like that okay and if you want to trim together with the image the music at the background so you have to drag and select both of them and then you can drag and you can see you can now trim both of them at the same time okay so we talked about virtually everything the next thing is to uh, look at color correction i think the color looks nice because of the camera we use in shooting but in cases when you want to add some coloration you can check from the filter if filters available you can just make sure you select the image and then you can come to the filters okay there are a number of filters that you can add very easily as you hover over you'll be able to see the effect and i think this one looks nice you can just click with one click and everything is added so you can just uh over over to decrease the intensity or increase the intensity as you so wish and you can see the effect okay you can see the effect i think it has given the video a very it's different all of my i think this is good so this is how to add fits in or if you want to do color adjustments you can come over here while still selecting the the media clip you can increase the exposure or decrease accordingly let's say we decrease the exposure a little bit or increase it a bit here and I think the contrast also to a bit somewhere here is good. And then we have the saturation. You can play around with the saturation a little bit so it appears a bit flat. Right now it's too shiny. The temperature can go down, uh, can go up a little. And the contrast can go up a little also. And I think the video is popping out clearly. The transparency can reduce a little. And I think this is good. I like it. I like what I see. And then you can go ahead and play around with the speed. Right now, you can see it's times one, and I want it in times one. If you want to go into times two, you can just go ahead and put in times two, and everything will be shortened over here, and the video is going to play fast. What's all the way up my bro? Yeah, so I think it's too fast. So let's make it to something like 1.5 or 1.2. Uh, 1.2, I think, it might be good. Products all develop my bro. Actually, I don't like speeding up my clips, so I just leave it at 1.0. I think it's good like that. Yeah, I think it's okay. But then this is how to add in using different different features from here, especially if you want to also change the sizing. Okay, you can change the sizing also from here to any size of your choice, and then you can move around to make it vertical or horizontal video as you so wish. So basically, this is how to do some very basic editing completely from scratch using this very clip champ. And the final thing that you may want to learn is how to export the video in MP4. 
okay you can just come all the way if you are certain you've done what whatever you have you even give it a, a name trial video 22 you can come over here to export and you have different range of qualities i can go as far as 10 1080p which is the hd format and with that selection alone it's going to start rendering the video and it's going to give you you have you can have the uh, you can create a link for you which you can share with your people and you can save to your google drive upload to youtube directly from here send to tiktok and save to OneDrive, to Dropbox or to Pinterest directly and even share it on LinkedIn. So you can see the rendering process. Once it is 100%, you can just go ahead and preview it to see what and what you have and what you have done to your video. So in a nutshell, this is basically how to do some very basic editing from scratch to create a video, a simple video from scratch using Clipchamp. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think that does it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.